Hello everybody, my name is uh, Dimitri Mitov. I'm a historian by training and profession and uh, Pearl enthusiast and uh, I'm going to present you a really small and simple application. It's actually a, a C C CPP application, uh, Qt4 or Qt5 application named Pearl Executing Browser. Uh, actually, uh, we have... Uh, Ah, oh, oh, okay. Uh, we have it. Uh, uh, I started it as a, a really uh, small personal personal project. I didn't mean to publish it in the beginning. Uh, my uh, idea, my motivation was to make a very simple uh, graphical user interface for personal uh, databases uh, that I wanted to carry with me on my external hard drive. Uh, so. Uh, Using, uh, uh, of course, uh, there are many uh, options for a nice graphical user interface uh, in the Perl uh, world. world. Uh, and probably the point is that uh, I was lazy uh, and un unwilling to uh, make a, a graphical uh, interface uh, using uh, the well-known uh, uh, bindings li like uh, Perl TK, GTK to uh, VX Perl or uh, even uh, Perl Qt uh, Qt4 uh, because I wanted uh, uh, I wanted something uh, easy to uh, easy to adapt easy to change uh, and then I started thinking that uh, I can use my uh, uh, my habits uh, my my uh, experience from writing simple CGI scripts and if I make a program that is able to execute a, a simple CGI script and display. Uh, uh, HTML uh, output uh, and uh, uh, being able to accept uh, HTML input without starting uh, uh, a real server, uh, then I, I can probably make uh, my simple, uh, simple interface. And that was the beginning of uh, Perl, Perl executing uh, browsers. Uh, of course, uh, 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 other solutions have their uh, uh, advantages and there, there are drawbacks, but but for me, uh, inst installing multiple dependencies is not an option because I really wanted uh, to uh, carry my uh, database with me uh, on other uh, on other computers when uh, where often I I don't have uh, administrative privileges. Uh, uh, using uh, uh, bindings is also uh, usually. Uh, uh, difficult to pack and distribute on on other on other machines. Uh, X Dialog Zenity, uh, unfortunately, they are not. Uh, uh, they are very simple uh, uh, set of dialogs. Uh, they are simply not enough uh, for for me. Uh, the other solution uh, which I used uh, for many years, uh, uh, local HTTP server. Uh, but uh, of course, we have the CGI uh, timeout uh, uh, limitation. Uh, uh, which prevents me f from running uh, long, long running scripts. For example, conversion of many files from one format to another format, uh, which uh, is uh, uh, practically uh, uh, impossible to implement uh, uh, in, in this scenario. Uh, and I wouldn't like to open another port uh, because when I am on another machine, I, of course, I, I don't have uh, the administrative uh, privileges and I wouldn't like to uh, trigger firewall notifications. Uh, so I wanted uh, to make it really uh, as simple as simple as possible. Uh, well, we, we will skip uh, uh, this page. Uh, what can what can uh, what can uh, do Perl executing browser? It can execute CGI like scripts. Uh, it can execute long long running scripts. They can uh, run for arbitrary long time. Uh, it can also uh, be used uh, uh, as a uh, interface to the built-in Perl debugger uh, HTML interface. This is uh, this was an idea of my partner in the project uh, Voltron Edelchev. Uh, it's becoming uh, something uh, uh, really beautiful and hopefully useful. Uh, of course, uh, 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 security is uh, very important. Uh, 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 
local scripts are not downloaded from anywhere. Local, co local scripts and uh, online content are not mixed in any way. Uh, so uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is important. Uh, scripts are run uh, with a limited uh, set of environment uh, variables and, uh, and from a, a single directory. Uh, so uh, we wouldn't like to, uh, to create a, a tool for uh, exploits or attacks of any kind. Uh, and uh, possible applications, desktop applications uh, written using the CGI methodology uh, are possible in this approach. Web clients with powerful client-side scripting, uh, not only JavaScript, but uh, Perl, Python, uh, PHP. Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, graphical interface for, for the debugger. Uh, and uh, that's basically all. Thank you very much.